if you hold yourself accountable for something, you essentially give yourself the authority, the power to do something about it. If I blame you for that same thing, I've given away my power to do it to you because it's now your responsibility because it's your fault that's happened or, or whatever it will be. I, I, an example for me is parenting versus teachers. So when I hear someone say, the teachers should have done that, the teachers should have done that, the teacher's responsible for I'm like, okay, but where's your role in that? You're the parent. Because as soon as I say, or it's the government's responsibility, maybe not even teachers. If it's, if it's somebody else's responsibility, I've just abdicated my, my power, my authority, that's gone. It's on somebody else to do it. So I can sit here and do nothing because I'm no longer holding myself accountable for it. And great, and I do nothing, nothing's going to change. So accountability for me is, is the way of e equipping yourself with the authority to do something that needs to be done. Um, and for me also, perhaps from a workplace point of view, if I'm accountable for it, it means I can do what I want pretty much. <laughs> Because, you know, if I do something that works and it's great and it has a big impact, I guarantee you no one's going to say, well, fuck, Dan, why the fuck have you done that? You've just, you know, improved a whole system or you've made more clients or you've, you know, protected the company a better way. Can you just undo it? It's not going to happen, right? So the accountability for me gives me authority to do things that I want to do. And that goes both ways, though, doesn't it? accountable for it. Yeah. If it. If it doesn't work, it goes the other way, doesn't then it? Then I hold up my hands up and say yeah. it, it didn't. Um, and, and so if I look back... From a career point of view, I've made big changes in, in a business without asking for a single person's permission um, because I believed in it. I thought it was going to be the right thing to do, and it was. It worked really well. We changed the whole process around how we um, onboarded customers, and it, it was much more effective. We ended up achieving something like the same targets or more with the team that was 60% less, of, um, smaller in size. Um, and that, that approach was then adopted across, um, you know, many, many other offices within the same organization. So I've, I kind of proved it. I didn't ask anyone for permission um, because I held myself accountable to do it. But if, if that went wrong, would yeah, you no. effectively have been, been sacked? Uh, potentially, I could have. Do you know what I mean? Like, and, that, and, that's, yeah. and that's what comes back to, you know, so what I'm good at is, you know, coming up with a strategy and having the conviction that I believe it's right. And I, I don't do that in isolation. I always you know, have conversations with people, get a different insights, make sure I'm building out, you know, a, a well-rounded um, strategy. But then I, I'll have the conviction to follow it through. Yeah, I think it's having those, the, the knowledge and the, the self-belief to do that, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah, you know, absolutely. Within yeah. the role. Yeah, and you yeah. know, you know, it's a, it's a calculated risk that you know that it's very unlikely to go yeah. wrong. And you have to work it through. So again, why am I doing this? What am I looking to achieve? And and, and what, what essentially we had was a a mandated process through the contract that we were operating under to do 10 different things. And the way we were doing it was just like so inefficient and was disengaging everyone. I was just that this, we've got to find a different way of doing this. Um, and I got the whole team stopped, stopped, you know, we went out of operations for a day, whole team ran a, ran a, ran a, a workshop with people to come up and did some big customer journey mapping, totally changed the way that we did this so that within the first day of customers being there, they would have had all of those things done in a way that supported the purpose, not just achieving the process. Um, um, but yeah, and, and this is another thing for me is I will be unlikely to ask a question if I don't think I'm going to like the answer. I'd rather just not ask it. Right, okay. <laughs> so can I do that? If I think the answer's going to be no, I won't ask it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Well, you're a little bit like that. I know when we were putting this together, the amount of things that we were wanting to do with the room, and I was like, oh, I don't know, should we ask for that? You're like, nah, let's just, just do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it, I guess it's a personality type, though, isn't it? Yeah. It's like it's like one of those things, like, I'd rather at times progress and get something done than, than procrastinate yeah. and argue with maybe a, a stupid little yeah. thing that's not really yeah. going to have any yeah. difference to the end product. You know what I mean? And I think it's, it, it's the, um, it's, it's ultimately the, the, you have you've a choice, right? It's down to choice. In any situation, you either do something or don't. And if you hold yourself accountable, you give yourself the permission to do something about it. 